That's a knock on there from the Stormers. Not what they needed. The Cape Town locals are starting to turn against their side. They are not happy at this point of the contest. Just a little knock on. Ruan now normally missed the consistency, but it was Paul DeVette. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's controversy, ladies and gentlemen, because that was played on the ground by a Munster player. That will become a penalty now if it is refereed correctly. And this game is not over yet. Cape Town may just about light back up after this next decision is made. It's over Seth Reyes. I don't think it is. This will become a penalty against Munster and a yellow card. They are now playing with 14 men on the field. A brain explosion from Crowley there. Now Paul DeVette passes back across to Marnie Libok. Goes to Angelo Davids. Ideally for the Stormers. If they do score, they want to score between the posts. Great tackle made by Keith Earls. One of the veterans on the Munster side. Penalty goes the way of the Stormers again. That is sort of player leaving his feet. Looks like 30 seconds now left on the clock. Stormers need a try. Munster need the ball back. Thrown into the front. Nicely taken by the Stormers. And they start their rolling more while also cutting just that little bit further back inwards. It looks like Paul DeVette will try and get this ball out to go to the right-hand side. Couple more of the Munster players have to disengage there. Rolling Mull still going forward for the Stormers. They are 10 metres out for the line. The penalty advantage might end up going. They've been told to use it once. I think this ball's stuck. Can they get it out of there? It looks like it's just a muddled mess at the moment. Gone down to the ground. Nidalee Boucher, the ball is stuck in there. And Munster have won the URC final. Stormers unable to get the ball out. And Munster, victorious. The crowd are in shock. The coaches are in tears. And Munster, from the start of the season, where they weren't looking like a top contender to now, taking on one of the big giants of the URC, the Stormers, the defending champs, and dethroning them in South Africa. What a moment for the Munster man. Come on, Munster. Connacht, we're shouting for you, says Sean. And thank you very much for your excellent commentary on the match in Cape Town. Listening in Pretoria East, says MM there. Tell you what, I don't think my voice has five more minutes in it. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go to Golden Point time. Because I don't think my voice would have handled it, and I don't think my heart would have handled it. But Munster have won two games on South African soil in a row up against the Stormers. And they are still the only side in the URC who the Stormers have not beaten.